Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss a problem from the chapter pair of linear equations in two variables. So the last exercise, second bit, first question. A boat goes 30 kilometers upstream and 44 kilometers downstream in 10 hours. First of all, what is the meaning of upstream and downstream? Let's have a look at it. Let's have a look at it. If a boat is going in this direction, if a boat is going in this direction, water is flowing in the opposite direction, then this is said to be upstream. It means if the boat is going or traveling to the opposite direction of the water flow, then it is upstream. Now here what happens? The boat speed will decrease. Speed of the boat will decrease because water flow resistance will be there. Next, if a boat is going in this direction, water is also going in the same direction. If it means boat is going or traveling in the same direction of the water, then this is called as downstream. This is called as downstream. In this, speed of the boat will increase. Okay, now look at the question again. In 13 hours, it can go 40 kilometers upstream and 55 kilometers downstream. Then determine the speed of the stream and that of the boat in still water. Now, speed of the stream we need to find out. That is nothing but the water and speed of the boat. Now, we don't know anything here. So, that's why I am taking speed of the boat as x. Speed of the boat, I am taking it as x. Next, speed of the stream. Next, speed of the stream, I am taking it as y. Then he mentioned clearly to cover 30 kilometers upstream and 44 kilometers downstream, it will take 10 hours. We have one relation between speed, distance and time. Speed is equals to distance by time. So in the time is given clearly, so make a formula for the time. That is, time is equals to distance by speed. Take t this side and bring as this side. So time is equals to distance by speed. Now, while going 30 km upstream and 44 km downstream, it will take 10 hours. So time 10 hours is equal to so the distance which he or that boat traveled 30 kilometers by speed plus 44 kilometers downstream by speed. Then what about this speed? He said clearly this 30 kilometer is traveling upstream. Upstream means the speed will decrease. So it means speed of the boat minus speed of the water flow. 44 kilometers downstream, it means speed of the boat will increase. So speed of the boat plus speed of the water. This is the first equation we got. Keep that aside. Next, second equation. In 13 hours, it can go 40 kilometers upstream and 55 kilometers downstream in 13 hours. 13 hours, it can go 40 kilometers upstream and 55 kilometers downstream. Now, what about the speed then? This 40 kilometers is upstream, so speed will decrease, boat speed minus water speed. 55 kilometers it is going downstream so speed will increase boat speed plus water speed now we got the second equation now if we solve the these two equations we will get the final answer let's have a check so here in the first equation we have 1 by x minus y 
in the second equation also we have by x minus y in the first equation we have by x plus y in the second equation also we have by x plus y so what i am doing 1 by x minus y we are taking it as some variable a 1 by x plus y we are taking in some variable b okay so now the first equation can be written as 10 equals to 30 times a plus 44 times b second equation can be written as 13 equals to 40 times a plus 55 times b now we got newly formed equations number 3 and number 4 now our work is to solving these two equations by elimination method or else a substitution method. But here always the elimination method is very simple that's why we are also going to discuss in that elimination method only. So here we have two equations. What is the first step to solve in the elimination method that is the coefficients should be equal. Here the A coefficients should be equal. Otherwise, B coefficients should be equal. But in both, the coefficients are different. So, our first duty is making the coefficients equal. For that, the third equation I am multiplying by 4. And the fourth equation I am multiplying by 3. Because 30 into 4, 120. 40 into 3, 120. Now, A coefficient will be same. 10 into 4, 40 which is equals to 30 times 4 120 a plus 44 times b 176 b next 13 3 is a 39 which is equals to 40 times 3 120 a plus 55 times 3 165 b now these two equations we need to solve now let us solve these two equations. I am doing subtraction of these two equations. So this plus will become minus. Here plus will become minus. Here plus will become minus. 40 minus 39. Only 1 which is equals to. Plus 120a minus 120a will get cancelled. 176 minus 165. 11b. So we want b value. So b value is 1 by 11 b value we got it as 1 by 11 by 1 by 11 so b value we got it as 1 by 11 now substitute this 1 by 11 in any of the equation i am substituting it 3 substituting b equals to 1 by 11 in equation 3 what is the equation number 3 we have 10 equals to 30 times a plus 44 times b now in the place of b i will substitute 1 by 11 so 10 equals to 30a plus 44 into 1 by 11 that is the b value 11 ones are 11 fours are so 10 equals to 30a plus 4 ones are 4 bring 4 to this side 10 minus 4 is equals to 30a 6 is equals to 30a so a equals to 6 by 30 nothing but 1 by 5 so a value we got it as 1 by 5 b value we got as 1 by 11 and a value we got as 1 by 5 now we got the a value and b value but according to the previous step a value is nothing but 1 by x minus y b value is nothing but 1 by x plus y so in the place of a we will substitute this value in the place of b we will substitute 1 by 11 value so that is the equation we have here 1 by x minus y equals to a 1 by x plus y equals to b now 1 a value how much 1 by 5 so 1 by x minus y is equals to 1 by 5 comma 1 by x plus y is equals to what is the b value we got 1 by 11 1 by 11 now here if i reciprocate we will get x minus y is equals to 5 and if we reciprocate this we will get x plus y is equals to 11 so again we have two equations number 5 and number 6 now our work is again to solving these two equations x minus y is equals to 5 and x plus y is equals to 11 now i am doing addition of these two 
x plus x 2x minus y plus y will get cancelled which is equals to 5 plus 11 16 x is equals to 16 by 2 that is 8 now substitute this x value in any one of the equations you will get the y value i'm substituting in the number 5 equation that is x minus y is equals to 5 so in the place of x 8 8 minus y is equals to 5 take minus y this side bring plus y this side 8 minus 5 is equals to y so y value is 3 x value we got as 8 and y value we got it as 3 x is nothing but speed of the boat that is boat speed is 8 kilometers per hour and next y is nothing but stream or water flow speed of the water flow is 3 kilometers per hour thank you